Hey guys, Cecil here from Moonshot, and today we're doing experiments with these moon balls from Oboba. Helping me out, the AP Physics class from Noblesville High School. Yeah! yeah. Well, yeah, so that's, I guess that's the next question. Like, what data do you guys need to request? Yeah. Like, maybe you're using video physics and you're actually tracking it because then, as you're, as you're throwing it down, we need, we, need, yeah, we need to figure out what's the initial kinetic energy. So, we just know. I'm here with Marshall, former student, film lit, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Jordan Hines. Marshall and Jordan, what are you guys doing? What's your experiment? We are uh, finding the deformation of the balls between the tennis ball and the moon ball. Here. The what now? The deformation, or how much like it just compresses when you throw it against the ground. Oh yeah, deformation for you guys. I know. <laughs> that I'm here with Peyton Brooks, Peyton, and Delaney, Shoemaker. And Delaney. What are you guys doing? You're looking very sciencey. Oh, yeah. With your yard stick, stick meter stick. Meter not stick, yards, yeah. meters. What are you guys doing? What's your experience? We are finding the maximum height of the moon ball when you throw it at the ground instead of just dropping it. Uh -huh. And then seeing how much of the added energy can be retained after the collision. Yeah, like some kinetic energy. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up? Cool, all right, let's do it. The ball is jumping, wee, and it goes all the way. Okay, so for our experiment, we did conservation of energy to say that the energy that we started with is the same energy that we ended with plus whatever energy we lost in the collision. So we have our kinetic energy at the beginning is equal to the kinetic energy when it's at the top plus the potential energy from when it's in the sky and the energy lost in the collision. And we used the equations for that to solve for what our kinetic energy lost. Those are the numbers that we got in our experiment. All right, so we only lost 0 0.015 joules of energy, which means that not a lot of energy was lost. That's why the ball can bounce back to its original, almost to its original height after it's done, which means the moonshot ball is awesome. You should buy one. That's okay, I'm here with Tyler, Tyler, Connor, Connor. Tyler. Tyler. I'm Tyler. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can be Tyler too, Tyler. Tyler too, Tyler and Connor. What are you guys doing? What's your experiment? So we're going to be taking both this normal tennis ball and the moon ball, yeah. drop them from a height, and comparing the energy conserved between the both. See which one bounces higher. Is that going to be a known height? It is going to be That's a known height. height. Of course. What, why is that important? I don't understand science. Because, well, if it's not a known height, then how are we going to know what to compare to? How are you going to compare exactly. A and B? Tyler, your thoughts? Thanks, Tyler. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay, and I'm here with Owen Davis, Owen, Colin Graham, Colin, and Luke Shin. and Luke. Owen, Colin, Luke. What are we doing, guys? What's your experiment? Yeah, we're gonna be freezing the ball at a very cold temperature and then comparing it with the constant and seeing how it affects the bounce. Yeah, constant. ideally, colder one would bounce less high. Exactly. Warmer one because it should deform less. Yeah. Now, like why is that? Bounces. Why is the cold one gonna go less high? Cold. Particles just move less. That's okay. our hypothesis. Yeah, I must have a lot of cold particles. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> well, your uh, your experiment sounds very cool. <laughs> huh? Good one. Thanks. Yep. Okay. We're good. We just finished a bunch of experiments with the Waboba moon ball. It's safe to say these things are awesome. We're going to get the results and we'll let these guys do whatever scientists do. And I'll just go ahead and see the video. Uh, but I think we learned a lot today, guys. For instance, I, I learned that these guys are way smarter than I am. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the shop and feel bad about myself. Pick up your moon ball at www.moonshotgamestore.com. Thanks, AP Physics. Yeah! yeah. yeah.